चिली गार्लिक स्ट्रू जस्ट ट्राई इट यू विल फर्गेट ऑर्डरिंग इन द रेस्टोरेंट इट इज़ ऑल्सो नोन एज बुधाज डिलइट और वट एवर यू वॉन्ट टू कॉल इट और थप्पा और थप्पा हैज नूडल्स इन इट दिस वन डजन बट इट इज वेरी वेरी अमी इन गार्लिक वेजिटेबल स्ट्रू सो दीज आर फाइव सिक्स गार्लिक फाइनली चॉप्ड दिस इज वन एंड हाफ जुकिन फाइनली चॉप्ड वेरी ब्यूटिफुल वेजिटेबल एंड दिस इज कैप्सिकम टू कैप्सिकम्स दिस जुकिनी इज वेरी वेरी नाइस एंड डाइजेस्टिव दिस इज टू अनियन फाइनली चॉप्ड एंड दीज आर टू पैकेट्स ऑफ मशरूम्स चॉप्ड I haven't taken broccoli. Damn expensive! I think it was above one twenty paya. I think so I got a piece, but it was not fine, so I threw it away. So if you want, you can add broccoli. Only the flower of the broccoli finely chopped. Here I have taken coriander, washed it. Now this is chili garlic sauce. Ah, uh, true. So I'm going to take the chilies and take out the ah uh, seeds of it. So here I have taken few chilies. I am going to break it and take out the seeds of it. We don't require the seeds. Deseed it. Take out the seeds like this. And this is empty chili. And make sure there is no seed in it. And we are going to add to the mixer. This small mixy. And then we are going to churn it. With so you see, I have broken the chilies. They are empty chilies. Now I'm going to add. These are also this is left. Just break it into half and take out the whole chilies from this. These are chili flakes. So once you break it, so that's why this will not be spicy. So I'm just taking only the shell of it and adding here to make the sauce. Just adding tiny, tiny water, so the paste is formed. To this, we will add the um this soy sauce later. How beautifully! What a color! Can you see? Wow! I'm going to add a little bit water more and churn it fine paste. This is really picturesque. You can click a picture also. So this is your gravy forming. I've added little water to it. See, I'm going to churn it now. See how the paste has formed. I'm not adding any more water to this. Here I'm going to add ghee to this and olive oil also, but I prefer ghee. So this is a corn flour, corn starch. I'm adding generously. I'm going to add three and four, depending on how many. Uh, vegetables are you having and what consistency you want these are four actually this is a very tiny spoon if you see so i've taken roughly this is 3 teaspoon i believe so i'm going to add water to this so and you stir it this is going to form the gravy for the garlic chili garlic stew that you have and you pay highly in the restaurant So that is what we are making. This really going to come out gorgeous. Added ghee, and I'm going to saute the garlic. Firstly, make sure the garlic is saute very well, and ghee is in generous amount because this will give flavor to the whole dish, and the vegetables are also to be saute. Mushroom actually takes on lot of uh, oil, so that's why. Here we have added the onions to the garlic. You can see garlic was done. Now I'm going to add the mushrooms. Two packets of mushrooms. Now you can see why I put so much of oil into this and the mix it. Okay. This the gravy I will put later because it has water. The water should go the last thing. So the paste that I made, I will put it later because if I add the gravy first, then the soup will not saute. So saute them nicely for at least two minutes. Now my soup has lot of water. You can see contain just to make them quick uh, cook faster. I'm adding the this 
black pepper and this this much is sufficient and now the cooking process will get fast i have not added salt salt is last thing that we will add to this now the cooking process will get faster so after about 2 3 seconds we are adding the black pepper to this so the cooking happens quick slightly the color has changed if you have more time you can make it dark brown let it be and it turn dark brown and see all the ghee has gone there is nothing now i am adding to this the zucchini dressing we will add in the end because uh, we are adding water to the paste so that will be in the end that we add the so this thing is done now adding the green capsicum also that I have put chopped I feel like I have made it also I have made it I have made it and now we have like we have made the water stream Okay, now we have saute the zucchini is very a uh, quick to cook soft it doesn't take much time to cook the minute I'll add salt to it it's done that salt mind you I'm going to add in the last now to this I'm going to add in between I make some space okay let the ghee and all come down in between. We are waiting for it to come. You can see tiny line ghee is coming from all sides. Uh, to this I will add soya sauce. Two caps of soya sauce. And to this I will add the paste that we have made, the chili paste. Here. So we are adding the chili paste to the soup. Okay, wait. I have to so in the middle because it will get cooked. Now I'm adding one teaspoon of salt and this tiny, tiny more. So now I have added. Mix it well. I'm going to saute the whole. Now the salt has evenly got. Mix even the soya sauce has salt. So accordingly, according to your vegetables, how many they are, you add the salt according to your taste. Salt should not be more, otherwise it just spoils the flavor. Now cook this in the sauce that we have just made. This is not spicy, mind you. Although we have taken five or six chilies. Since we have taken out the seeds, it doesn't remain spicy. You will see the zucchini has started cooking by now. So another minute, I'll just saute these vegetables and then we will add the water. So here I have added water to this uh, mixer so that all the flavor comes in. And then we are going to stir this glass of cornstarch, which has 3 teaspoons of cornstarch, which will break the gravy. So now it's done. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add the water first and then I will add the stew, this cornstarch stew. Wow. So these are two glasses. So depending how much uh, this gravy you want. So here the color is greenish because of the coriander. So this color will turn little browner after the soya sauce is cooked. So I think more water is required. It is quite heavy. So now I think this much is fine. Wow, this is such a nice gravy. I think gravy everybody wants. Little more for See, wow, the color is also changing. 
will be brown it is not going to be red because i'm not adding any artificial colors so please don't go after the colors it's just flavor i cannot transfer the flavor to you over the video but trust me wow it is so nice see now the gravy and it is so nice and wait for it to get the boil make sure that your vegetables are finely chopped and they are going to taste amazing the mushroom could have been sorted more but my patience were running out wow so this is what you get in the restaurant for a high price of course the vegetables are so expensive what to do i mean especially the exotic vegetables i have only used the green uh, capsicum not the colored ones see now the boil is coming so nicely and wow this is yummy trust me on this can you see the boil and the vegetables are yummy trust me this is amazing now see please keep on stirring it or the cornstarch will settle in the bottom and you don't want it to spoil so just keep on stirring once the boil comes just stir it nicely and this are garlic chili sauce is done this gravy garlic chili gravy is done with exotic vegetables and this is at home wow just see this is yummy this is wow when i was in bangalore i used to have it at bangs this was also called as buddha's delight i think something like this was there and i used to have it with fried rice so today i'm going to have it with plain rice this is yummy vegetable stew hot garlic uh vegetable stew chili garlic so lovely please try and make it and do not forget to like and subscribe to my channel and i hope that you enjoy this this is lovely i can even have it with spoon plain so nice it is thank you so much and it is not spicy mind you we've taken out all the seeds so this is very very nice thank you so much for watching and do try your own uh, garlic hot garlic and vegetables thank you so much for watching